Patch 3 for Kerbal Space Program 2 is on its way. It's scheduled for June currently. No precise date just yet, but that is the current release window. Science then looks like it's going to be slightly further out. Obviously, uh, well, at this point, heading into the third quarter of 2022. And meanwhile, there are also some nice new graphical effects on the way and graphical improvements, which we're going to look at in this video. So do stay with the video and we're going to get into that right now. Let's head on over to the forums then, where we've got another development update from creative director Nate Simpson. And we're going to get straight to the uh, more interesting part here. We look at the new uh, graphical effects. So uh, what can we see here? So uh, we're looking at the sun here and what you'll notice is the sun disappears as soon as it gets behind the planet itself. And this is quite different to how it used to be, the way it used to be. And you may have noticed, or you may remember, is that the sun would shine through parts of the planet and it literally disappears as it hits, you know, on a pixel basis here. That is a big improvement. This is something you'll notice on other planets too. The sun would shine through the world. It's something you actually see in other games such as Elite Dangerous as well. As the sun drops behind the uh, planet, it kind of shines through at least a part of the planet. And you can see just how good this is actually looking with objects in space as well and how it's been occluded even by the parachute here. Great looking work. Yep, and even by the helmet itself. So, um, they do go into some detail here. Let's have a bit of a look. Our tech artist, John Xeloti, uh, has pulled off the impressive feat of improving both polish and performance by overhauling the solar lens flare occlusion system. Lens flare occlusion, the scowling disappearance of the sun's lens when a flare when hiding behind objects, no longer uses ray casts or colliders. Now we're literally counting pixels on the sun itself. So like I said, you can actually see that on a per pixel basis here as that disappears behind the, uh, well, the apparent horizon here. The result, no more sun peeking through terrains or oceans, no more wild or weird flare behavior behind vehicle parts. And the sun now shines correctly through visors, trusses, parachutes, and windows as we've seen. So a nice improvement there, all the more so if this brings a boost to performance as well. So throughout this post, you'll notice a few references to performance. This is something that uh, has been kind of not mentioned too much in the past. Um, they've mentioned bugs, but not performance, and they now seem to be touching on that subject. As you can see, regardless, we're feeling good about their progress on patch 1.3 in all areas and confident that the next update will provide a good performance, stability, and gameplay improvements. Gameplay improvements is interesting as well because um, are they talking about existing gameplay improvements or perhaps some new gameplay improvements likely? <laughs> existing gameplay, I'd imagine. And finally, in the meantime, our design team and content teams continue to bring new parts to life. What well, they're building are now grid fins, designed by Chris Adderley and uh, brought to life by Alexander Martin. So uh, there we go, a few new pieces there. Very small update then this week for KSP2, but that graphical improvements is a very nice touch. Hopefully that is going to be a part of patch 1.3, along with many other fixes for performance and bugs as well. So do let me know in the comment section below what are you hoping to see as a part of um, patch 1.3, or uh, what would you like to see fixed? Bug improvements, new content, performance improvements, let me know below. As always, thanks for watching. And I catch you guys and girls next time.